Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. Yeah. Kind of a sudden start here as right before we were about to go live, Big Show and Chris Benoit were seen battling backstage and right around the corner, Daniel Bryan and A-Train are, are battling as well. This thing between these yeah. two teams have just sort of broken down here. Big Show and A-Train were put up to, to take out Chris Benoit and Daniel Bryan to keep them away from the tag team champions by, the, by Mr. McMahon. And it's just it's been breaking down ever since. I mean, it's all this all started at the Survivor Series at the Royal Rumble pay per view rather, and it's it's following us here to Friday Night SmackDown. And it's, oh my God, Daniel Bryan just got sent right into the into the trunk of that car by A Train, and then again, oh my God, spine first. It, it's kind of a sun star. I, I I apologize for that, but I mean, it, like I said, things are breaking down here. It's Daniel Bryan trying to fight back, trying. To, to take out a train but oh he missed that running knee oh and a shoulder tackle takes down daniel bryan these two teams are set to face off at no way out as big show just clobbers benoit with the steel chair benoit looks like he's been effectively taken out here benoit's out of it unprotected headshot with that steel chair wait a minute big show's got him up on shoulder big show right through the table goes chris benoit Oh my god, this is absolutely insane. And it looks like Big Show thinks his work is done, but here comes Daniel Bryan trying to fight back. Trying to try to take out A-Train. I'm not sure who started who started what here. I'm not sure who attacked who. But it's breaking down. And then oh Daniel Bryan face first into that car. Spying first into the concrete floor. This is absolutely ridiculous. A heinous assault at the hands of Big Show and A-Train. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell is A-Train doing here? What the hell is A-Train doing here? Daniel Bryan's out on his feet here. Wait, wait a minute, no, 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 no. A-Train, think about this, think about this! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. We are live from Newark, New Jersey in my 2K19 Ruthless Aggression Area Universe mode. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Before we get started, be sure to smash that like button if you've been enjoying this series so far and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already for more. And be sure to turn on notifications to stay tuned whenever we go live for Friday Night Smackdown, Monday Night Raw, whatever it may, the case may be. And we are kicking off the night with the former Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio. And as you guys saw at the start of this episode, Chris Benoit and Daniel Bryan were taken out by Show Train. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll receive some, um, some updates as to the condition of Chris Benoit and Daniel Bryan um, throughout the night. I, I, I know that they're being tended to by medical personnel, but we don't know any of the details. But, I, I mean, just based on that, Daniel Bryan got powerbombed through the windshield of a car. So uh, it's a, uh, huh, it's a, uh, things are kicking off crazy here on Friday Night SmackDown as we're getting set with some singles action here. As this is another match between two competitors that will take place in the number one contenders elimination chamber match in just a couple short weeks at the No Way Out pay per view. And if you guys are seeing this low screen, you know exactly who's coming your way. The leader of the Mattitude Era. It is Matt Hardy. And like I just said, now you, you guys know that these two contestants will be a part of the Elimination Chamber in just a couple weeks at No Way Out. Of course, that will be headlining the pay-per-view. will be a six-man Elimination Chamber match where the winner will go on to face 
the undisputed champion at WrestleMania. It's a lot riding on this, and this is just a game to, to get all the competitors ready and see who can have the most momentum heading into that pay-per-view. As Matt Hardy not being flanked by Team Attitude, which is kind of surprising. Uh, he has had the, the co-Cruiserweight champions, Shannon Moore and Gregory Helms. They're here tonight, so I'm not sure what the case is and why they're not at ringside. But nevertheless, Rey Mysterio versus Matt Hardy. There's the bell. This match is underway. Matt Hardy comes straight out the gate with a clothesline. Jesus. And pander to the fans now. Of course, Rey Mysterio lost the Cruiserweight Championship in a handicap match to Shannon Moore and Gregory Helms at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. We put up one hell of a fight, but the numbers game were just too great for Rey Mysterio to walk out the victor that night. But the problems between Mattitude, ooh, Team Attitude, and Rey Mysterio continue here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown with a lot more going on. Ooh, as the show goes on. Of course, if you guys remember back last week, the announcement was made that AJ Styles will be here tonight to address what's going on. You know, how he's feeling after his match with Ryan Orr at the Royal Rumble and what the state of the United States Championship is. We'll find all that out right here tonight. That's Matt Hardy. Now look at this. Side Russian leg sweep takes down Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio now set into the corner. Matt Hardy went for the clothesline. Rey Mysterio ducked out of the way. Big right hand. Ooh, here comes Rey Mysterio. There's that fighting spirit of Rey Mysterio. Crucifix takes down Matt. Matt Hardy's going to roll out of the ring. Try and get his bearings back about him. There's Rey Mysterio and Matt Hardy. Ooh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Still haven't, ooh, figured out who will be challenging Shannon Moore and Gregory Helms for the Cruiserweight Championship at the No Way Out pay-per-view, but I'm sure we will find out at some point here soon. If not at the pay-per-view, into the cover. Hook at the outside leg and a kick out at one by Matt Hardy. Something tells me that Rey Mysterio knew that wouldn't put Matt away, but it was just looking to wear him down. Make Matt Hardy exert energy to kick out. Do that enough times, you may be able to get the three count. As here comes Rey Mysterio, kick to the side of the leg. Here comes Rey, sends him off the ropes, slides through the legs. Rey Mysterio, full head of steam, Hurricane Rana, ta head scissors takedown. Has Matt Hardy right where he wants him here. Ooh, double foot stomp right to the gut. And now working on the back there, looking to wear down Matt Hardy a little bit more. He's got his knee driven right into the spine of Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy's in trouble here, but he looks to get back up to his feet. Can he get out of this predicament? And he does. Right hand by Matt. Rey Mysterio, though, fighting back. Looking for that 619, possibly, but Matt Hardy caught him. Matt Hardy scouted Rey Mysterio there. Able to fight out of it, and ooh, shot right to the arm. Sends Rey off the ropes. Oh, a big clothesline to the outside. And Matt Hardy's distracting the referee. What the hell? Hey, wait a minute! One half the Cruiserweight Champions. That's Gregory Helms. What the hell? Matt Hardy has the referee distracted. And Gregory Helms taking advantage. Came in through the ramp. What the hell is he doing now? He just sent Rey Mysterio shoulder first into those steel steps. And wait a minute. The Shining Wizard to Rey Mysterio. This is absolutely ridiculous. Team Mattitude continues to make Rey Mysterio's life an absolute living hell. And now... Gregory Helms sends back Ray back into the ring, and now he's escaping through the crowd to for and leaving Ray Mysterio to let Matt Hardy pick up the pieces. This is absolutely ridiculous and a side effect. A side effect by Matt Hardy, and I, I always I have to assume that the damage is already done. I don't think Ray even I don't even think this is necessary. But Matt Hardy wants to make himself feel good. That's that piece of garbage. It for the cover now, off the twist of fate, and Matt Hardy is victorious, not to the surprise of anybody here, after that heinous assault by Gregory Helms. It's absolutely ridiculous, and Matt Hardy is proud of himself here. Matt Hardy is proud of himself. For what reason, Matt? For what reason? And now what the hell is he doing? Just get the hell out of here, Matt. You won the match. You got your momentum for no way out. What the hell? Come on. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now Matt Hardy adding more insult to even more energy. Attacking Rey Mysterio after the match. What the hell is Matt doing now? 
Matt Hardy's getting the chair, and someone needs to check on Ray. He's got to be hurt here. Matt Hardy's got that steel chair. Someone's got to get down there. Someone's got to stop this man. Oh, hey, wait a minute. From behind. Ultimo Dragon. Ultimo Dragon. Ray's best friend coming to the rescue. Ultimo Dragon making the save. At the very last second. Oh, we are back, and Dudley Boy's obviously not happy with the fans. They turned their back on, on the fans here tonight. It's, it's official, but Candace Michelle waiting in the rain, and here is the number one contender for the Women's Championship at No Way Out. It's Victoria, who attacked Gil Kim last week on Friday Night SmackDown, and she had this to say earlier in the evening. Victoria stating that she attacked Gail Kim last week on SmackDown to get eyes on the women's division on Friday Night SmackDown. It's been a Monday Night Raw for the entirety of this series. And Victoria says she did it all for the, for the women's division on SmackDown, but I, I think she just wanted to be in the spotlight herself. I think Victoria has some, some self-centeredness about her. And look at this! Victoria bringing the pressure on early to Candice Michelle. And you gotta assume that with an opportunity like this, Candice Michelle's not gonna waste it. She's gotta get back into this contest here in the early going. She is not off to a good start. And look at Victoria now. Caught her in, in the corner and her head scissors takedown. And these fans 100% not behind Victoria. But she is the number one contender for the Women's Championship at No Way Out. So I guess it doesn't matter to Victoria. She is not worried about it. Look at Victoria. May have made a mistake here. Decided to taunt the fans. Gave Candace Michelle an opportunity to get back into the contest, but maybe short-lived here. Oh, no, wait a minute. Candace Michelle still fighting. Candace Michelle won't be denied here tonight. This is her opportunity. Oh, big drop kick. Oh, and a boot to the side of the face. A boot right to the side of the face of Candace Michelle. Victoria now on the middle rope. Big crossbody takes her down. Of course, Gail Kim will have two championship matches in the, in the coming weeks. She first defends it against Fleet at Taboo Tuesday, and if she can make it through that, she then has to defend it against Victoria at No Way Out. I'm just wondering what will happen if Gail Kim does not retain the Women's Championship at Taboo Tuesday. Victoria sends Candice Michelle off the ropes, jumps over the head, drops underneath. Big Luthes press with a shot, raining down on Candice Michelle. I don't believe Gail Kim is here tonight. I believe she's at home resting after that attack last week. She wasn't on this past week's Monday Night Raw, so I can only assume that she's not here. Friday Night SmackDown as here comes Candace Michelle. And Gail, uh, Victoria was, was caught off guard there. She had to give herself a second, but I think she just baited Candace Michelle into the DDT. Victoria talking smack. She baited Candace Michelle there. It's very clear that she rolled out of the ring to get Candice Michelle to follow her and look at Victoria now has her up and down Candice Michelle's in big trouble here into the cover hook of the leg and a kick out by Candice a kick out at two by Candice Michelle Victoria now continues the assault continues the assault on Candice Michelle what's got to be next here Picks her up, spine buster, no, reversed by Candice Michelle into a big DDT. This could be the turning point of the match here. Candice Michelle has to make every second that she gets count. 
Oh, and I don't think it's working. I don't think Candace Michelle can get back into it. She just got slapped right across the face by Victoria. And now up and down with the Widow's Peak. Into the cover. Hook of the leg. Does she have her here? And no. Candace Michelle with the fighting spirit kicked out at two and a half out of the Widow's Peak. Candace Michelle, like I said, ooh, not going to let this opportunity escape her by. And look at the power of Victoria. Good God Almighty. And what is Victoria looking for now? Measuring Candace Michelle with a super kick. Into the cover. Hook of the leg. Does she have her? No. Candace Michelle not going down. And Victoria very clearly getting frustrated with the referee. She believes that was a three, but no. Victoria's got to figure out what to do next. Candace Michelle. Ooh, big slap to the face. Went for another right hand, but here comes Candace. Here comes Candace. Went for the chop. Oh, oh, she got slapped right across the face again by Victoria. Victoria swinging wildly here. She's not even hitting half of them, but oh, those kicks are landing flush. Victoria visually frustrated here that this match is still continuing. I assume that she she thought that Candice Michelle would be a, a quick and easy win for her, almost like a warm-up, but Candice Michelle, like I said, not giving up. How much can she take? Candice Ma Michelle now looking to get a full head of steam in the corner. Went for the knees, but no reversal. Went for the hit to the reversal. Victoria Widow's Peak again. And that's got to be it. Cover two. Victoria is victorious. I thought Candice Michelle was... I thought Candice Michelle had a... A full head of steam there. Oh, co oh, come on. Come on. And here comes Gail Kim. The women's champion is here on Friday Night SmackDown. And she's getting her some of the number one contender. There goes Victoria over the top rope. Gail Kim makes the save this week. Gets a measure of payback on Victoria. Candice Michelle is stunned. She doesn't know what happened. Well, a huge announcement was just made by General Manager Vince McMahon and Chairman of the WWE next week in a number one contenders match for the Undisputed Championship. Brock Lesnar faces Kurt Angle in an Iron Man match. Don't miss it. But ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event of Friday Night Smackdown as we're being joined by AJ Styles. He has a big announcement regarding the United States Championship. We're going to have to see what that is. AJ Styles looks happy to be back here. And his fans obviously behind this man. He put up one hell of a fight against Rhino at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view in Rhino's own match. A hardcore match. 
Rhino put up one hell of a fight, and there was a couple times where even I thought that we were going to have a new United States champion. But AJ Styles just barely able to pull out the victory. And he is still your United States champion. And then, dare I say, he has had the most phenomenal reign in the WWE. Pun intended. But the question is, what is AJ Styles' big announcement here? What could he possibly have to say? With no way out, coming up in just a few weeks. AJ Styles looks ready for a fight here tonight. Let's see what he's got to say here. Pray. AJ Styles put a little bit of praise on Rhino, saying they had a great match at the Royal Rumble. And, and that they did, too. AJ Styles was taken to his limits. But what's next? What is next for the phenomenal one? AJ Styles issue, issuing an open challenge to anyone in the back, and he's putting his United States Championship on the line. Right here tonight in the main event of SmackDown, we're going to have a United States Championship match, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to answer the call? Oh, okay. Okay. This is going to be a new one for AJ Styles. One of the contestants in the Elimination Chamber match, Mr. Kennedy, is making his way to the ring. He is accepting the open challenge for the United States Championship. Mr. Kennedy hasn't had a championship opportunity yet, and this could be his moment right here tonight. And if he could win the United States Championship and go on to No Way Out and win the Elimination Chamber and go on to WrestleMania, become a double champion, that'd be the fastest rise in WWE history that we've seen since Brock Lesnar. Okay, let's see, let's see what Mr. Kennedy's got. Mr. Kennedy, AJ Styles, United States Championship on the line, ladies and gentlemen. There's the bell. This match is underway. Here we go. Kyle Neville will tie up Mr. Kennedy with a, a little bit of the size advantage over AJ Styles, pushing him right back into the corner there. And a clean break. Okay. Clean break by Mr. Kennedy. Oh, and look at AJ Styles with a backbreaker. And then backs off. And then into another collar and I will tie up here. AJ Styles got the advantage on that one. Drops Kennedy down to a knee. He's got that arm locked right in there. Mr. Kennedy, though, got the arm of AJ Styles. Takes him down. We're in the feeling out process here. These two have never faced off before. So it's going to be an interesting... It's going to be interesting to see who gets an early advantage in a standoff. Oh, and a kick by Styles. AJ Styles not wasting any time. Has him up. And for a suplex reversed by Mr. Kennedy. Oh, big knee right to the face. And a shot to AJ Styles back as he was going down. Look at this big DDT. And in for a quick cover. Look at it. Put him away early. Look at the catch. AJ Styles off guard. In for the cover. Hook to the leg. Two. Kick out at two and a half. And Mr. Kennedy thought he had that there. I got to be honest. I, I mean, it, I, I felt like it was too early in the match to go for a pin. But when you go for a pin that early, you tend to catch your opponent off guard. And you might actually get lucky. And Mr. Kennedy almost got lucky there. Mr. Kennedy now picks up AJ Styles, went for a kick. AJ Styles caught it. Right hand here. Here comes the phenomenal one. And this is what makes AJ Styles a great champion. Ooh. Came from other promotions. And he ran the promotion that he was in. And now he's looking to run the WWE. Because he caught him there. Look at AJ Styles up and down. The brain buster. In for the cover now off the brain buster. Hook the leg. And kick out by Mr. Kennedy. Oh, spinning back fist. And a forearm shot. Turns him around into a German suplex. What an incredible combination by AJ Styles there. Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy not in a good way here. AJ Styles has him up and hangs him up off that top rope. Mr. Kennedy falls to the outside. AJ Styles has the advantage here. 
And AJ Styles is going to let Mr. Kenny get up to his feet and he gets caught with a drop kick. A springboard drop kick to the outside and that's the type of type of maneuvers that we can expect from, from our United States champion. Just high intensity, high offense all the time. And Mr. Kennedy, I don't think he can adjust all that well to it. As he is more of a grappler. AJ Styles, aggressive with a side of high flying. As Mr. Kennedy is more methodical and technical with his with his maneuvers as AJ Styles now going to the top rope another high risk possibly high reward low down in for the cover here hook of the leg could that put Mr. Kennedy away one kick out this match isn't over yet AJ Styles has Mr. Kennedy right where he wants him and you can see the confidence growing in AJ Styles now Oh, but here comes Mr. Kennedy. This could be his opportunity here. Has him up on the top rope. AJ Styles is in trouble. Big right hand. Oh, wait a minute here. He's got him up on the top. Mr. Kennedy has him up on the top with a superplex into the center of the ring. And that may have taken just as much out of Mr. Kennedy as it did AJ Styles. But Mr. Kennedy has him up with the Green Bay Plunge. And that is usually the preload. Mr. Kennedy, look at this, has him. Mike Jack, we have a new United States champion here. Cover, hook of the leg. Kennedy didn't do it, no. Styles kicked out at two. And Mr. Kennedy, his confidence is starting to grow. But you hit your big move, Ken, and it didn't put Styles away. What else do you have left? The Green Bay Plunge followed up by the mic check. Didn't put Styles away and here comes AJ Styles now. Here comes Styles now. Oh no, we get shut down by Kennedy. Oh, a big knee, oh my goodness. Mr. Kennedy shut AJ Styles down there. I feel like this could be the beginning of the end. Has him back up on that top rope, but this time AJ Styles fights out of it. He fights out of it this time. Rolls through. Calf killer. The calf killer by AJ Styles locked in. Can Mr. Kennedy tap here? AJ Styles hasn't worked the legs at all in this matchup, though, so I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to put Kennedy away. But Kennedy obviously struggling to get out of that, and he does. Oh, right hand. Right hands by Kennedy. Went for a kick to the leg and oh, and AJ Styles caught that leg. AJ Styles caught the leg that he had locked in the calf crusher. Oh, man. Big close on by Mr. Kennedy. Oh, my God. Mr. Kennedy now seeing the aggressive side. And Mr. Kennedy flings Styles off the ropes. And these fans not really behind Mr. Kennedy as he looks to wear down AJ Styles. That scissors lock on the waist there, looking to drive the air out of AJ. Oh, but AJ fighting out of it. Fighting out of it with those big elbow shots. Big shots with elbow, but he missed that one. He missed that one, and that could have cost him everything here. But no, he didn't miss that elbow. He didn't miss that elbow. Oh. Mr. Kennedy just scouting AJ. Every time you think AJ is getting back into the mix, he can't do it. AJ Styles needs that big reversal. That could put him away. And look at Mr. Kennedy flings him over. What, what, what is this? Oh! Rope on neck breaker. Right on the back of the neck of AJ. And AJ is in trouble. Mr. Kennedy could be looking for the Kenton bomb. Kenton bomb! No! AJ moved out of the way! AJ moved out of the way! Uh oh! Uh oh! AJ Styles has him! AJ Styles have him! One big mistake by Mr. Kennedy, and it cost him. Styles Clash, one, two. AJ Styles retains the United States Championship. Quick pace. Oh, man, what a back and forth contest. I thought Kennedy had that. He took too long to try and hit the Canton Bomb, and that cost him everything here. I thought it was over right after this Green Bay plunge. 
and then he would follow it up with oh my god it's devastating look at this mic check I thought that was it I thought that was it right there honestly two and oh just barely ref's hand almost went down that was almost a three count AJ Styles that was pure instinct I could see it pure instinct by AJ and this would be the mistake here Mr. Kennedy might have to stop going for that. It hasn't suited him well the past couple of attempts. But AJ Styles, ladies and gentlemen, is still your United States Champion. And what an impressive showing by Mr. Kennedy here tonight. But the question still remains, what is next for AJ Styles after a big victory here on Friday Night SmackDown? Ladies and gentlemen, that was it for this episode of my 2K19 Ruthless Aggressionary Universe Mode. That was it for Friday Night Smackdown. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Wait a minute! I recognize that music! The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, is back on Friday Night Smackdown. Listen to these fans. The roof has absolutely come off this place. The Heartbreak Kid is here! And I'd be a damn liar if I said I'm not happy to see Michaels back on Friday Night Smackdown. We haven't seen this man in months. Shawn Michaels is back ladies and gentlemen. Listen to this ovation. And he is coming down to the ring to confront the United States Champion. This is a dream match right here, ladies and gentlemen. Is that going to happen? We're out of time. Thank you for joining me.